seeing it. Glad that your spirit is with us tonight. It's so good when the Lord is with us. You got your Bible, you want to look with me? We're going to start in Exodus. Over in the 32nd chapter.
And I'd like to preach to us this evening if the good Lord would bless me, help me to help you. Where do you stand with the Lord? Where do you stand? Where are you standing tonight? Kind of funny the way that Aaron began to talk to Moses. Now Aaron did wrong in what he did. Well, one of the very things that God wrote with His finger was not to make any graven image, not to bow down to them, anything in heaven or the earth, or any, uh, in the seas. And Aaron began to make excuses and blame it on the people. And uh, how he said, uh, I, I asked whoever had any gold to uh, break it off. And he said, they gave it me and I cast it in the fire. And there came out this calf. Kind of like making an excuse yeah. that, uh, you know, uh, I just put it in the fire and, and the calf came out. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Kind of like folks do today, kind of make excuse for the sins that they've done. Well, I just did this and that's what came from it. It wasn't me, but glory to God, where do you stand with God today? Where do we stand with the Lord? Have you been with me today? And I come to talk to us tonight. Who among us is on the Lord's side? Well, if you keep His commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. So if you keep His commandments, you love Him. If you keep His commandments, you're on His side. But if we break the commandments of God, where do we stand with Him? Praise the sweet Lamb of God. Listen to me just a little bit tonight. Glory to the sweet Lamb of God. I thought I began to think about uh, the, the three Hebrew men. The you, Bible readers, you know how they were put to the test. And uh, all they had to do, all they had to do when they heard the sound of the music was to bow down to that golden image that was made. And uh, I thought they had a choice. They could either bow down to that or they could stand with God. Praise the Lord. All right. Where are we at today? Where are we at today? Glory to God. I would bear with me just a little bit tonight and talk to you. Who's on the Lord's side? This modern day of living, people just do as they please, go to and fro, do whatever they want to do, and try to claim to have God. But I want to tell you, glory, 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 to have God, there comes a change in mind in your life. All right. Amen. To be born again, we're not the same man we used to be. You're not the same woman that you used to be. You become a new creature. And then old things pass away. And all things become new. Glory to God. Who is on the Lord's side tonight? Do you still believe like you used to believe? Praise His name. Praise His name. Do you still believe like you used to believe? Do you still hold it like you used to hold it? Do you still stand for what you once stood for? Heavenly Jesus. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring this. You will be on the Lord's side. You have to come out from among them. Right. And you have to separate yourself to be a servant unto the Lord. Amen. You cannot eat at the Lord's table and at the devil's table. Amen. You can't have it your way. Glory to God, what we do this time, we'll have it God's way. God's way, where we stand to be. Glory to God, I'm hoping to us, well, I'm going to ask you tonight, who's on the Lord's side? Be this way here, that way there, some other way somewhere else. I want to be what I am wherever I am. Amen. Because all that I am is what God has made me to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who is on the Lord's side? Glory, glory, glory. Now the press is on. All you got to do, you want to you get along down here, you got to go along with what people want to do. But if you go along with what people want to do, you can't get along with the Lord. Amen. Come on, man. It don't work that way. I said it don't work that way. Right. You can't live like a sinner and have God too. Right. Why are you preaching this way? Because the Lord has laid it upon my heart. 
Praise the Lord. If you're going to be holiness, be holiness. If you ain't going to be holiness, take your sign out of your building. Praise the Lamb of God anyhow. Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on His side? I still believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we call Him the Holy Ghost for a reason, because He's holy. He's holy. And to have Him, you've got to be holy. You've got to be sanctified. And I know that's almost a dirty word now, but even the sanctified still works. They stood over here one night and part of the Lord began to move. And I began to say, Lord, I'd love to see you come out and heal somebody. The Lord spoke in my heart. He said, This moves through them that are sanctified. Right. Amen. I said the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to my heart and said it's moves to them that are sanctified. Well, there's no fault to be found in the Lord. Amen. No, no, the Lord not found anybody in this building. He found him a time or two, three, four. Let's not really try to count it. Might not be able to count that high, but he has never found me in you. And his ways are just as right now. God. I love the Lord. I love His ways. You seem like just as soon as, as Moses got away to go with him, to be with the Lord. That's how quick that the people begin to turn, begin to do things that they knew not to do. You know how they knew? They, they knew not to do it because before the Lord wrote it down, He spoke it out from the top of the mountain. And the people began to hear and began to fear. Amen. They began to go to Moses after that and told him, you go and you speak to the Lord. We don't want the Lord, my word. We don't want the Lord to speak to us anymore lest we die. So they heard the commandments of God. God told them what to do and what not to do. Can we get along tonight enough to agree that the word of God said, thou shalt not, it still means thou shalt not. If I don't have a word to stand on, what am I going to stand on when the Lord comes? My right. foundation will crack and wash away. Who is on the Lord's side tonight? Sweet Lamb of God, I love this good way. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Praise God, praise God. You know what's missing this little bit this evening? Praise to the Lord. Now we've had the singing, we've had the spirit, but not enough praise. Not enough praise. Well, who is on the Lord's side tonight? Come on. Amen. Who? I'm going to tell on myself. I'm telling Tammy today, I said, you know, we don't have a lot of people, but they're good people. And they live good. They just don't hardly do much when we get her out. Go ahead, brother. I said they're good people. They live good. They live right. Just when we gather out, they don't do much. Who like to do more for the Lord? We better do more for the Lord. So there's going to come a time he's going to determine who's on his side. Uh, he's going to show every one of us where we stand. But we either going to be on the right hand or on the left hand. And wherever he puts me in you, that's where we're going to be. <laughs> who's on the Lord's side tonight? Praise the Lord in the midst of a wicked and adulterous sinful generation who still believes in the sanctity of the Word of God. The holiness of the Word of God. Lord, I'll tell you what makes sin sin. When God speaks against it, that makes it sin. What makes sin wrong? Because God spoke against it. That makes it wrong. It ain't what I think is right makes it right, but what I think is wrong makes it wrong. But if the Word of God is against it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go pray about it. You don't have to find a prophet to tell you about it. Open the book and read it and see what it says. Who's on the Lord's side? All you got to do. You start being a little bit more like the world. A little bit more like the world. Well, I'm about to say that for me. You just got to be a little bit more worldly. 
Yes. The back of place out. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's the truth. I won't be here. And I'm on the Lord's side. And the Lord brought me out of the world. Amen. Why would He go and send His Son to die yes. and pay the price to bring me out of the world for me to turn around and leave in the world? Right. Are you Are listening good? Because I feel like talking to you. Where do we stand tonight? Where do we stand? Or do we just say Jesus when we're in church? Or is that name precious to us outside? Do we only want Him to move on us while we're here in the house of the Lord? I believe the world can stand to see Him move on us. How tired are we at? Glory, 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 glory. Who is on the Lord's side tonight? Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Be looking for this one. How they believe? How they believe? What do you believe? What do you believe? I believe the Word of God is true. I believe the Word of God is right. His ways are right. The things He taught our people to live and how to live are right. And the things He taught our people to lay down and stay away from, if you won't get sanctified, you'll stay away from that and lay it down. Amen, Brother Destiny. Praise the Lord. Where do you stand with the Lord tonight? Glory to God. Does the Lord stand with me? Is He with me? If I don't follow His Word, and I don't walk in a way that pleases Him, He's going to do with me? He won't follow it. How many of y'all like that spirit that's moving a while ago? Same thing with number right now. Right? I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid to tell you that. Same thing with number right now. Where do we stand with God? Where do we stand with all? Praise the Lord. Is Holy still right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let somebody else get up and hold up the stand out here and not tell you hold this is still right. Clean this is still right. Glory, glory, glory. Now when the Lamb of God shed that blood, who the Spirit of the Lord drew me to an arm with conviction to pray, He washed me and He made me clean. Crown my head and say that the sole of my feet, my soul was clean. But it's up to me to stay clean before the Lord. Yes. I said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Glory to God. All them people that come out, they come out from Egypt. Egypt being a symbol of the world and sin and bondage. The Lord brought them out, but they hadn't made it to the promised thing yet. They were still wandering around. Ain't it kind of, I guess, more than a coincidence that it was the wilderness of sin? Around and around and around. If they'd been obedient and obeyed the Lord, if they had listened, the Lord could have just took them in. But they did not listen. They did not obey. They became fearful and unbelieving. They murmured. They grumbled. They complained. And the Lord began to weed them out. Come on. Where do we stand with the Lord tonight? I love to shout. Don't you? Yes. Now if you if you don't like to shout, you probably never felt that dancer get on and let you dance. Praise the Lord. Anybody who's up down, run around, but I'm talking about that thing gets on. Yes. That's an edifice. You know what it takes for that to get on you that edify yes. a sanctified life before yes, the Lord. Amen. A clean walk before the Lord. We ain't careful. We worry about more what people think about us than sitting around about us than we do what the Lord thinks about us. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Before I ever left the house. Thank you, Lord. I felt like talking to us tonight about standing. Where do we stand? Praise the Lord. I want to stand in the teaching of the precious Holy Ghost. 
Right. In the Word of God. Now the Holy Ghost will never teach you anything that's contrary to this book. That's right. If you got a doctrine contrary to this book, it never came from God. That's right. 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 But we look around we're seeing the culture that we get to the end of the way the more our people. As a whole. As a whole. They're mixing and in the more with the world now. They're going to do it more now. But then we're taking the things more now. And we're sitting around and we wonder what the Lord is doing now. Like he one time did. I thought he was going to move tonight like he one time did. Come so far. Yeah. Come so close. Yes, it did. Where do I stand with the Lord? Yes, Praise God. God. Something happened to me. They laid me out. If, if they bring me in here, it won't matter what anybody preaches over me. That will not get me in. It won't matter who speak against me laying there. That's just my house that be laying there. That won't keep me out. But it's where I'm standing with God when I leave this room. Where my heart is. Whoever has your heart tonight has your soul. If God has your heart, then you love God more than anything in this world. If God has your heart, He's got your affection, your love is upon Him. Your soul is safe with Him. But in this world, in the things of this world, you've got your heart. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Because the world will let you down. Man will let you down. Friends will let you down. I'm going to tell you, you'll say brothers and sisters will let you down. But that man up there will never let you down. Well, glory. Glory, glory, glory. I'm just going to read it to you. Then you know it. I've read it. And I'm going to read it again. Jeremiah began to write in the sixth chapter and the sixteenth verse. He said, Thus saith who? The Lord. Stand ye in the way and see. See. And ask for the old path. Who'd like to walk in the old path tonight? Yeah. Hello, children. We're going to have participation tonight. Who'd like to walk in the old path? They all say to God, the only time to try to call. Glory to the old grandma that you hear. Call them what you want. The old grandpa, the road that they walked on. Who'd like to have that? That they had to have what they had. You have to live like they had to live. The devil move you backward. Amen. You let him move you backward. He'll move you. You let him. He'll move you. Thus saith the Lord, stand you in the way and see and ask for the old path. What? Where is the good way? Yeah, brother, there's a good way. And there's also a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Remember, I'm looking back at you. See, I'm smiling. You smile back. It's okay. It's safe. I'm over it. I'm going to preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. If you're saved tonight, you're not sinning. And if you're sinning, you're not saved. Is it that simple, Brother Jesse? Yes, it's that simple. It's that simple. You know who tried to change the way? Man tries to change the way. They can't change the way of God. They change their ways. They change their belief, their doctrine. But this book is still the same as the Lord spoke. As the Spirit of God moved on him all men of God. Glory to God. And they begin to speak and the scribe begin to write it down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Where do you stand? With God tonight. He said, and walk therein. And when you find it, walk therein. When you find that good path, when you're shown that old path and that good way, He said, walk therein. Walk in it. And you shall find rest for your soul. You wonder why there's so many in the church world that's wore out. 
They're just absolutely wore out with life and living. But according to the Word of God, if we will walk in this way, don't mean you don't every time you won't get weary. But in this way, He said, you shall find rest for your soul. Now, I'm not preaching to your flesh tonight. I'm preaching to your soul. Your flesh is not saved. Your flesh cannot be saved. Your soul that is what is saved. And that's if you have to get to the end and endure all the way to the end. You're saved well done, then you'll be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. But who's on the Lord's side tonight? Yes. But they said, We will not walk therein. We're not going to walk that way. We're not going to listen to what the Lord has to say. We don't have to. You don't have to live that way. That's man's doctrine. Praise the sweet life of God. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Would you like to make it tonight? Yes. Second epistle Paul the Apostles of Thessalonians. Second chapter. Therefore, brethren, stand fast. That means firm. Unmovable. Stand fast. And hold the traditions which you have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Where do we stand, the Lord? Where do we stand with Him tonight? I love Him, don't you? I love Him. And they so nice we get up and just feel like it just flows. They so nice get up and just feel like a flop. But I know where I stand tonight. Uh, you hear me? I said, I know where I stand tonight. Where do you stand tonight? Where do you stand? I'm not judging you. I want you to look at yourself. Don't look at your neighbor, your brother or sister. I'm asking you to look at you. I have to look at me. Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on his side? Yeah. When he said go sit down, I'm going to go sit down. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm remembering about, oh, 20 some years ago, I was a young boy sitting and watching Brother Jerry. He had some nice hit men would preach, and you could tell that he was fighting about it. But I watched him like a good soldier fight that fight and preach that word. And that's how I feel like I'm doing tonight. That's how I feel like I do. I like to fight that good fight to tell you that the ways of God have not changed. Modernism is garbage. Modern religion is garbage. This new way, there is no new way. There is no new light. There's the old path. The old way. And the Lamb of God is still the light. Hello, hello, hello. Praise the Lord. There are people begin to mingle and mix and take on things and do things. At one time they themselves Stood against. If I begin to build again them things that I tore down, I make myself a transgressor. Amen. Amen. Them things at one time would come out of our people's mouths. <coughs> they spoke again. The Lord had taught them not to do. Yeah. Taught them not to go. Yeah. Taught them not to say. Taught them not to live on their children. Right. Amen. 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 Now, right. what is wrong now? He was trying to die. I said, what is wrong now? Right. Yeah. I said, what is wrong now? Oh, What's the matter now? Because people ain't praying like they used to pray. I ain't got to break out in song. I feel it moving in my soul. People don't live like they used to live. I don't live like they used to live. Who changed, church? God didn't change. 
there are people that are watching me and you. Right. They're watching our lives. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm anything. No. I don't. Go ask the Lord. He'll tell you. I feel like I'm anything. No. But I know enough tonight to know that people watch me. Yeah. 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 If I begin to stand and preach you one standard, right. I begin to go and I begin to live another one. The young people are going to sit around and say, which one's right? right. What's right? Which one's right? I'll tell you what's right. That's what the Holy Ghost moves in is right. right. That's what the power of God gets on our I'm not talking about self. I'm not talking about flesh. Hey, people get up in a big way, moving in a big way, say big words. That don't mean it's God. But that, that the Holy Ghost is in. That is the right way. It doesn't matter how many shipwrecks you've seen. It doesn't matter. I hear people say hypocrites. Talking about hypocrites. They've always been hypocrites. But they've also been those few that were true unto the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. No matter how many hypocrites you've seen, that don't mean you have to be one. Amen. Come on, we be just a little while longer. You know a closer way, a closer walk, then get in our name and show us how to live it. You know a better way to get more power. Get up. Anybody can sit on the sidelines and complain and murmur and ramble? And a lot of them do. But where do you stand with the Lord? Where do you stand? Can I ever please you? Glory, 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 glory. You little mommies that's been in this for all these years, you stay with that that you've been taught from the beginning. I've heard people at times say, well, I've always done this, or I've always done that. If it was wrong, I don't care how long you've been doing it. If it was wrong the first time you did it, it's still wrong today. Just what makes you think it's because you do it, that that means it's not wrong. Glory to God. This will help our church if we just take this. If we just take this, we can say, Lord, give me that old path. Give me that old path. See a lot of things. You look, you see all kinds of things moving today. But the young children, they need to see the Holy Ghost move. They need the power of God move. I need that to get on me. Go over there and lay hands on Lucy. And her come out shouting around the Bible stand. And walk home without having a limp in work. Amen. Lord, I'd like to move on. I know He's still God. I know He's still able to do it. Children, I know that God is still able to do these things. Praise the Lord, but where do we stand with the Lord? Where do we stand with things? Praise God, did you talk to them old stories and old men and the things that they done? Let me tell you what they did. They fasted by the days. They prayed by the hours. They humbled themselves down meek and low before the Lord. They denied themselves the pleasures of this life. That they might find grace to obtain power with God. And when they prayed for you and said you're going to be alright, you had that confidence that you were going to be alright. And you went home. And it might have been a day. It might have been two. But you got alright. Why? Because they were walking in that old way. They were standing up right before the Lord.
Glory, glory, glory. Would you like to be next time? Thank you, Jesus. I love him tonight. I love the Lord. I love his good way. Now, look, if I'm myself standing before him, I'm not talking about feeling better than anybody. God's not in that. But to be able to walk upright. What in the Word of God say about them that walk upright? Then it teach us how that the Lord will withhold no good thing. Good. Right? And them that walk upright. Is that what the Word said? God, I tell you tonight, there's an incentive to walk up out the Lord. It pays me and you. I'd like to get closer. I, I, I truly, in my heart, I'd like to get closer to it. Because the people need help. Everybody needs help. Everybody. Ask around. People need help. This old quick fire. This, this familiar spirit. Just won't cut it. And I like that that talks about community. That that comes in the midnight hour. Nobody has to tell you a word. But he comes to you. And he begins to teach you what to do. Tell you where to go. Tell you the instructions he wants you to do. Where do we stand for? I love to find myself. I ask the Lord to help me to be careful what I say when I'm up. Because like I said, if you get feeling too good, sometimes you speak things that you're just feeling good. You may say anything that sound at all, but I'm to take it from the man on this side of this desk. You have to be careful. There have been people that say saying he's painted herself into a corner. They hear about this one, so they're going to sacrifice that. They hear about that one, they're going to give this up. Well, I'll do it too. And after a while, they've given up so much and done so much to make the walk too hard for yourself. Where do we stand? The Lord. We're going to open the altar and we're going to let you pray. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to tell every one of you, I'm glad that you come out to be with us tonight. Yes. And I'd like for you to come back. Yeah. Our people, I'm glad you're out tonight. I'd like for you to come back. Don't forget this week to do your fasting. And do your prayer. Don't forget this week at least. Put some time in for the church. Don't need to put it all on yourself. Just put some time in for the church. This altar is open. Close the table. You can stand and rest yourself. Then, reverence to the Lord. As we open the altar for prayer. If you need something from the Lord. Here's where you can find it. Come on. If you got a song, sing it.